Thank you. Nice to see such a nice crowd here tonight. I'd like to welcome all the girls from uh, Girl Scout Troop 100. And they're going to be uh, participating in today's uh, ceremonies at the end. So let's get started. I'll call to order the town board meeting for the town of Windsor for April 3rd, 2013. Chairman, obtain a motion that the Town Board of Town of Windsor approve the minutes of the Town Board meeting held on March 6, 2013, and the minutes of the Special Town Board meeting held on March 19, 2013, as per copies posted on the Town Clerk's Bulletin Board to the Town Hall and the same distributed each of the Town Board members. Move. Second. Councilwoman Brennan. Yes. Councilman Lundstrom. Yes. Councilwoman Biasati. Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey. Yes. Supervisor Green. Yes. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Wounds are receiving file with the Town Clerk an intermunicipal agreement for pavement markings on non county roads for the 2013 season. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Wounds are receiving file the following documents related to the $700,000 bond anticipation note for the new highway garage, notice of sale, record of bidding, certificate of determination. Affidavit as to no conflict of interest, closing certificates, arbitrage, and use of proceeds certificate, information return form 8038G, it's got to be the federal government, note of a uh, principal amount of $700,000. Bring no objections, Town Board of Town Owners are receiving file sealed bids, receiving publicly opened on April 2nd, 2013, for 2013 or newer. Four wheel drive, one ton single axle truck with a two to three cubic yard dump body. <coughs> Chair, let's entertain the motion. The Town Board of Town Wounds are, are reward the bid for 2013 four wheel drive, one ton single axle truck with a two to three yard cubic, uh, cubic yard dump body to Robert Green Chevrolet in the amount of $36,000. $133, as recommended by the Town Highway Superintendent and Magoli Hauser and Hetzel Consulting Engineers, PC. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilwoman Brennan? Yes. Councilman Longstone? Yes. Councilwoman Biasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Mr. Green? Yes. Jill Lieutenant Motion, Town Board of Town of Windsor. Adopt the following resolution. Whereas the Town Board of Town of Windsor has a local law before it entitled a local law to amend the water law of the Town of Windsor for the conservation of water to regulate law and sprinkler usage and to require periodic calibration of certain water meters. And whereas the purpose of this local law is to promote the responsible use of the Town of Windsor's municipal water supply system in the Town of Windsor Consolidated Water District to moderate peak use periods and time automatic uh, sprinkler usage when watering is not required by virtue of rain or soil moisture and the required periodic con calibration of certain water meters. And whereas proposed local law amending Chapter two, uh, 287 of the Code of the Town of Windsor has been prepared, now therefore be resolved as follows. That the movement of this resolution uh, does hereby introduce the proposed local law entitled Local Law to Amend the Water Law of the Town of New Windsor for the conservation of water, to regulate law and sprinkler usage, and to require the periodic calibration of certain water meters, and that the proposed local law be forwarded to the Orange County Department of Planning for review and report, and that the town board does hereby authorize the town supervisor to sign the EAF Part 1 declaring itself to be the lead agency under CEQA for a review of this action and determines that this is an unlisted action, and that a public hearing on the proposed local law is set for May 8th. 2013 at 7 o'clock p.m. and that due notice of same is directed to be given to the publication and posting. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilwoman Brennan? Um, yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. 
Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town of Windsor received and filed an agreement dated March 19th, 2013 between the Town of Windsor and Arcadius U.S. Incorporated for the purpose of performing a review of the water availability at Plum Point. Chair on the motion to the Town Board of Town of Windsor authorize the supervisor to execute the First Amendment to the Developers Agreement between the Town of Windsor and Fort Chai LLC where to reach rise multiple family site plan as recommended by the Town Attorney. So moved. Second. Roll call. Councilwoman Brennan? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Basadi? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair on the Town Motion, the Town Board of Town Rooms are authorized to solicitor's permit submitted by Jesse McMahon, DBA Jesse's Ice Cream, P.O. Box 4263, New Windsor, New York, to sell ice cream, soda, water at 56 Devitt Circle, lot to number 28. Permit should be obtained from the Town Clerk's Office. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilwoman Brown? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. <coughs> Councilwoman Biasati? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chairman Town Motion, Town Board of Town of Windsor, adopt the following resolution. Whereas the Town of Windsor is in possession of certain items of historic character requiring conservation, uh, dignitation, and op uh, archival storage or repair, and which require funding to secure safety, secure, store, and display said items, which include but not limited to. The original ship's bell from the SS New Windsor, antique firearms, and a number of historic maps, papers, and deeds. And whereas Orange County historian recognizes the significance of the town of New Windsor's collection, the town has requested a grant in the amount of up to $2,500. And whereas the town has determined that accepting such grant is in the best interest of the foresaid town, now therefore be it resolved by the town board of the town of New Windsor that the supervisor is hereby authorized to accept the grant in the amount of up to $2,500 from the Orange County Historian for purposes of preserving and displaying the above mentioned artifacts, maps, and papers, and be it further resolved that the supervisor is further authorized to execute all uh, necessary documents as may be appropriate and necessary to accept such funds. So moved. Second. Roll call. Councilwoman Brennan? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasati? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair on the town motion, the town board of town owners are authorized supervisor to enter into an agreement with advanced testing for the structural steel inspections during construction of the new highway garage. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilwoman Brennan? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Diasati? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair on the town motion, the town board of town owners are grant real property tax exemptions on the following village of Harris Joel owned properties lying within the town of Windsor. For the 2013 tax year, per detached village of uh, Harris Joel uh, resolution dated January 4th, 2013, section 13, uh, 36, block 1, lot 14, section 36, block 1, lot 30, section 35, block 1, lot 86.1, section 35, block 1, lot 79.22. I would remind the board that this is in a, an affirmative uh, form. So move. Se second. Roll call. Councilwoman Brennan. Um, I would like to make an inquiry. Yes, go ahead. Uh, my understanding was that, that we hadn't extended similar. Um, no, we have not. And is it our plan to extend one today? Uh, it's not my plan. If you're asking me, am I going to vote for it? No. <laughs> Already? Um, since it's my understanding that we have not ex exempted other um, uh, towns uh, from the properties here in New Windsor under similar circumstances, I will vote against it. No. Councilman Lundstrom? No. Councilman Biasati? No. Councilman Alert? No. Red green. No. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town New Windsor receiving file summons and complaint in the matter of Crystal Van, Van Bieber Bicknell versus Town New Windsor at all. Oops. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town New Windsor 
receive a file called the bargaining agreement between the town of Windsor and the CSCA Local 1000 uh, AFS CME AFL CIO for the term January 1, 2013 through December 31st, 2015. There are no objections. Town Board of Town Windsor receiving file utility and access easement from Frank J. Corlone and Angela M. Corlone to the Town of New Windsor dated November 16, 2012, and recorded in Orange County Clerk's file on the 15th day of January 2013 as file number. 20130006129. There are no objections. Town Board of Town Winds receiving file utility and access easement from Frederick R. Coutant, uh, the third to the town of New Windsor, dated August 29th, 2012, and recorded in Orange County Clerk's Office on the 15th day of January 2013. This file number 20130006132. No objections. Town Board of Town Windsor receiving file option to lease agreement between Joint Align Corporation or Company as a wholly owned subsidiary of DA Collins Incorporated in the Town of New Windsor for property located at 20 World Way, New Windsor, New York, section 91 uh, 1 9. <coughs> no objections. Town Board of Town of Windsor receiving file fully executed community development block grant agreement dated March 12, 2013 between the Town of New Windsor. <coughs> And the County of Orange for a replacement upgrade of existing storm water management system on Summit Drive. That should make a lot of people very happy. <laughs> Myself included. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Owners are receiving file agreement between the Town of Windsor and Public Employees Risk Management Association PERMA for the third party administrative services, tail claims arising from injuries. Occurring prior to January 1st, 2008, said agreement is effective from January 1st, 2013 to January 1st, 2014. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town Windsor receiving file with the Town Clerk. Fully executed amendment to fiscal year 2009 Community Development Block Grant Municipal Funding Agreement with Orange County. That should make the controller very happy. That does it for me. What? Oh, official. Oh, so I'm so excited about getting into the next part. <laughs> the following reports were received, recorded, and filed with the town clerk. The town clerk's report for March 2013. The tax receiver's uh, water, sewer, and garbage report for March 2013. Monthly tax statement for March 2013. Recreation report for March 2013. Police department's report for March 2013. <laughs> Justice Calvin's report for March 2013, Justice Thorpe's report for March 2013, fire prevention for March 2013, and the building department for March 2013. Now, Mr. Green, can we get on? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a little program uh, before we go into the public forum tonight. Uh, I am going to turn the floor over to Councilwoman, Deputy Supervisor, for March. And to the receiver of taxes. <laughs> Tonight, the 250th Anniversary Committee opens our year-long celebration. New Windsor was a colony before there was an official United States. We were never incorporated. We existed by royal decree of under England's King George III. The town of New Windsor officially came into being on the first Tuesday, that's April the 5th, in the year 1763. Gray Gatano will be the dedication, the decoration of the New York Provincial Assembly that divided New Windsor and Newburgh into two separate precincts. After which, our town historian, Glenn Marshall will read the minutes of the very first meeting held by the newly formed town of New Windsor. Good evening. I'm going to read the abridged version of the act 
the verbatim version, and we will submit to the supervisor for the incorporation. We the sincerely notes. appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is abridged. Yeah. An act to divide the Highland Precinct and Ulster County into two precincts, passed December 11th, 1762. Whereas the Highland Precinct in the County of Ulster is very extensive, and by the great increase of the inhabitants therein, the laying out of the same duties of its several officers has become very burdensome, from which many inconveniences have arisen and still may arise if not remedied. Be it therefore enacted by His Excellency the Governor, the Council, and the General Assembly, it is hereby enacted by the authority of the same that the precinct called by the name of the Highland Precinct shall be and is hereby divided into two precincts by a line beginning at the west side of the Hudson River at the mouth of the Quasaic Creek and running along the southbound tract of land commonly called the German Patent to another tract granted to Alexander Baird and then along the southerly bounds of the last mentioned tract to the Walkhill Precinct and that all the lands comprehended within the said Highland Precinct laying to the southward dividing line shall be called by the name of New Windsor Precinct and that all the lands comprehended within the said Highland Precinct laying to the northward dividing line shall and after the publication of this act be called by the name of Newburgh Precinct and be it further enacted by the authority aforesaid that the freeholders and inhabitants of each of the aforesaid two precincts called New Windsor Precinct and Newburgh Precinct, respectively, shall hereby have full power and authority and are hereby directed to choose and elect yearly at their annual meetings one supervisor, three assessors, one collector, one constable, two overseers of the poor, and overseers of the highways for each precinct. Who, when so chosen and elected, shall respectively be vested with and have the same authorities and powers and subject to the rules, regulations, and penalties as are prescribed by law for the like officers respectively in the other precincts and towns in the said county. And be it further enacted by the aforesaid authority that the freeholders and inhabitants of the New, New Windsor Precinct shall annually meet at, a, at the now dwelling house of Judah Harlow on the first Tuesday in April yearly for electing the officers belonging to that precinct, and that the freeholders and inhabitants of the Newburgh precinct shall annually meet at the now dwelling house of Captain Jonathan Hasbrook on the first Tuesday of April yearly for electing the officers belonging to that precinct. Be it therefore further enacted by the authority aforesaid that the persons herein named shall be and hereby appointed commissioners to regulate the highways and lay out such other public roads as may be necessary with their several precincts. That is to say, for New Windsor Precinct, Colonel Thomas Ellison, Mr. Patrick <coughs> McClary, and Abigail Young. Said persons herein appointed as commissioners are fully authorized and empowered to put into execution the several services intended by the said act within their district until the first day of January, 1766. This act to commence and begin to be in force on the first Tuesday in April next. Very good, thank you. I have the easier part, because this is the minutes. This is from book number one. The town still has the book, page one, the first at a meeting of the freeholders and the inhabitants of the precinct of New Windsor at the house of Judith Harlow on the first Tuesday in April in the year of our Lord, 1763, agreeable to the directions of an act of the Governor, Council, and General Assembly of the Province of New York, an act entitled an act for dividing the precincts of the Highlands in Ulster County into two precincts, by a line therein mentioned, one to be called by the name of New Windsor Precinct, and the other by the name of Newburgh Precinct. According to the directions of said act, were chosen Joseph Belknap as clerk, George Harris as supervisor, Samuel Brewster as assessor, James Humphrey or Humphrey, assessor, George Dennison, assessor, Alexander Dennison was constable and collector, 
Judith Harlow and Captain James Clinton were assigned overseer of roads. David Crawford and John Nickel, overseers of the poor. Andrew Crawford and William Lawrence were appointed fence viewers. The meeting then adjourned to the house of Joseph Belknap. Well, thank you. We will now have the presentation of the flags. Will the representatives please come up to receive the flag? That would be Jack, a representative from Balesgate Fire Department, a representative from the Ambulance Corps, our police department's here. Is there a representative here from Quisayan Fire Department? No? That's me. Oh, you. All right, you may take it. All right, will the Girl Scouts please come forward, please? The Girl Scouts of Troop 100 will present our new official flag for the town of the Windsor to our supervisor, George Reed. accepting a flag. We're going to give a flag to New Windsor Ambulance Corps and accepting will be Jean Antonelli from the Windsor Corps. to Balesgate Fire Department, and accepting will be Dominic Lucero. Our next flag will go to New Windsor Fire Department, and accepting will be Town Historian Glenn Marshall. We have another flag. Our fourth flag will go to the commander of the New Windsor Legion, post 1796, Jack Powell. And finally, our last flag be presented to our New Windsor Police Department, accepting Deputy Chief Rick Hubby. and their hard work are going to have a very memorial and very moving year for the town of New Windsor. I would like to introduce the co-chair, our town historian, who you have met, Glenn Marshall. <laughs> Ray Gattano. <laughs> Councilwoman Alice Biasati. <laughs> our receiver of taxes, Sue Scheibel, Greg Biasati, Veronica McMillan, the, 
commander of the American Legion, Jack Powell, who on many occasions has been our host for our meetings. New Windsor Ambulance Corps President, Dawn Marshall. New Windsor Fire Department Past Chief, Tom Shoemaker. Ashley Shoemaker. Catholic War Veterans, Joe Farina and Jim Puso. Rich Romano. And our Town Recreation Director, Matt Veronese. Glenn Marshall would like to recognize two people who have been extremely valuable in aiding us with the flag design and also with our calendars. Last fall, I, I met two people at a historic event that Newburgh was sponsoring, and they, they offered assistance. And I'd like to introduce uh, Miriam Frawley and Terry Frawley, the running diner. They're responsible for, for helping us with the I think, I think he did a marvelous job because it looks like it's supposed to. Thank you. <laughs> this concludes this short program for tonight. Please read about all the events that are coming up. They'll be into the local papers. Please try and attend. I'm sure you'll meet a lot of folks there, a lot of your neighbors. And let's all remember that we are all stewards of the town of New Windsor. Our rich history belongs to us, it must stay with us, and we must develop it and keep it for our future generations. Thank you all for coming tonight. Before we go into the public forum, I would like to thank Pat and our committee and uh, Greg and Glenn for being here tonight, and especially all the girls who were here and participated. Girls, thank you very much. Uh, we, we sincerely appreciate it. We look forward to you participating in the future events. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Pat and the committee have worked very, very hard on this program and on all the programs that are going to be associated with our 250th anniversary. And Pat, thank you. And committee you've done a wonderful job. Um, before we uh, move on, I would like to introduce one, one member of the audience. I, I usually don't do this, but uh, we have with us our new uh, assemblyman, James Stubis. James. <laughs> You're more than welcome to say a couple of words. Yes. We're very, very happy you were here with us. First, I, I think Councilwoman uh, Malarkey deserves a round of applause because I know how hard she's worked on that committee and putting everything together. So. I mean, the, the one, uh, you know, you don't get too much news from Albany these days, you know, when you're a municipality, but one good piece of news that I do want to share, and I've been sharing with some of the other towns, hoping the town board already knows this, but um, Anthony Fayo and the small army of Highway superintendents came and visited me up in Albany not too long ago to push for CHIPS funding, which is uh, aid for, for local road maintenance and highway maintenance. And we were able to get uh, the town of New Windsor, I think, uh, over a 27% increase in your CHIPS funding, an additional $43,000. So, you know, me and some other legislators pushed really hard to get that CHIPS funding increase. So I'm happy to share that news with the town board. Hopefully that helps. I know every dollar helps a little bit these days. But otherwise, uh, you know, every month we have our constituent hours. Either me or one of my staff is here, so you don't have to come to Chester. Or if uh, you're a commuter, um, you can come visit us in the evening, an hour before the town board meeting. But the door is always open, and that goes for the town board and, and the people here in New Windsor. So I'm happy to introduce myself, if you don't already know me. I'm the new Nancy Calhoun, to put some, <laughs> some context to it. And, uh, and thank you for having me. Thanks, George. Thank you. Thank you. That I will open up under public forum. Gene. Just, just a question. Uh, on item number eight, where is 
Ridge Rise. Ridge Rise is the old, uh, I don't know what you recall, the old Stingland Farm on 32, just is below. Uh, what is that uh, no, it's down, down further. It's down uh, by uh, U Haul. You, I, I want to say J.C. Volkswagen. I really wasn't here at the first first uh, first meeting either. I, I really didn't realize that, even though I would say J.C. Volkswagen. But it's where uh, we're we're uh, we're in the back behind uh, Newall. But is it is it in the back or is it along Thirty Two? Well, it's, it fronts Thirty Two. Yeah, it fronts Thirty Two. That vacant piece of land. Yeah, that, that whole piece of land. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No. I understand, yes. We have uh, somebody from the highway department. Great. And I know Anthony is going to really be a president. That's for the town roads. That's correct. Unfortunately. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> yeah, all right. Because we have to not go to the county for the additional money for the. Uh, yeah. yeah. The, the, I can't tell you about the funding of the Fort Hill Bridge. You, you would have to go to, to your county representatives. Uh, hopefully they're moving it along. Uh, I had a conversation last week uh, with the Commissioner of DPW and uh, it's going to be a while. <coughs> Anyone else? Oh, oh, Kathy, did you have your hand up? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. Uh, Kathy Vaughn, his wife. Uh, a couple of weeks ago in that bad snowstorm, it was a Monday night, I yeah. was driving home. There was another car in the gutter, I guess you call it, along Union Avenue, kind mm -hmm. of across from where the Y is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Part of that area. And the gutters are really bad. I was wondering, you might have put some sort of a grate over those or something? Again, it's a county road. Yeah. It's 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 a, it's, a, it's a county road. Uh, I don't even know if it's a doable thing. But it, so many cars fall in. I I just had a, a discussion. The reason I was talking with the uh, the commissioner of DPW is because of the condition of uh, Union Avenue, and asked him to look at certain areas. So when when he comes to look at it, he's going to call me, and I will meet him, and I'll discuss that with him. But that that ditch has been like that for for forever. For, for literally forever. Bob. Wow. Uh, subject being the same. Yeah. Right. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I'm just curious to know if there is a starting date for the Moon the Creek mitigation plan or program. If you know that date. For the, the Creek mitigation program. Now, what are you talking about? <laughs> you, you're talking about Butternut Drive? Butternut Drive. Yeah. No. No, there is there is no starting date. There there is no final engineering uh, done on it. The final engineering hasn't even been approved yet. And you're in touch with who handles that? Is that Dick Lord, Rick Lord? Uh, I don't know if the Lord handles that particularly. He's handling your your house. Right. So, you know, we got communications today with, with him. Who would you get in touch? Could I get in touch with? Just to find out what's going on. Okay. Uh, actually, Dick, I I thought Dick was going to. When I read that email, I thought my interpretation of it was that Dick had contacted you. If not, he is going to contact you. Okay. So you know we, that the, the, assess, the assessor, the assessment has been ordered on your house. Okay. We talked to Bob about that, about the, about the demolition. Yeah. Right. We're, the appraisal. Every, everything's fine. Right. Everything's going to be fine. We don't have a date on that. The demolition? Right. No, on the appraisal. No, the appraisal will take about a week. As soon as we get the appraisal back, we're going to start the demolition of your house. I, I did call uh, Tom Chesney, I think his name is. I, it is. Yeah. It is. And I, I couldn't get in touch with him today, but I'll try to get another yeah. day. So. Yeah. The appraisal's been ordered. We'll have it next week. And but right after that, I'm sure the. Uh, in fact, Dick talked to uh, the low bidder uh, yesterday. yesterday. Uh, and we're going to give him a start date. We're going to give him the notice to proceed very shortly. Okay. Anyone else? Thank you. Jeannie. Just a comment. Uh, Union Avenue, when it snows, okay, there's so many cars that go into the ditch.
inches. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any way that maybe when we have a storm like that before it really gets bad that you can close Union Avenue and have people go around? No. No, we can't we can't close a county highway, Gene. Only the county, county uh, can do that, the county uh, DPW or wherever it is. It's dangerous and you can't wait for the county to come and close it. No, no, we, can, we cannot close it. We cannot close it. But Anthony maintains it and we haven't had, uh, we haven't had, had many uh, incidences that I know of and I've been out in every single storm. Well, the, this was the last one and my friend had to pay over $200 to get pulled out of the, mm -hmm. the yeah. ditch. Union Avenue. Yeah, we, we can't close state roads, we can't close county roads, Gene. Because I went down just before really got bad. Mm -hmm. And I made the sign of the cross. I said, God, please get me down here. I didn't realize how bad it was. Because I know not to go down here when we have bad weather. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't. And we end up, the towing business gets a good, gets a little. Extra money. All right. Yep. I'd like to occur in a date, January 28th, 2006 to be exact. Union Avenue was closed because I was involved in an accident and I didn't close Union Avenue. Well, the, the, the police can close it to clear traffic, but that's, that's the only thing that they can do. We cannot close a road. I mean, we can obviously, if there's an accident or something, we can, you know, the police can pretty much do. Okay. Because I was that. No, they, they, they can close it. They, they can close it if there's an accident. It's clear the road, obviously, yeah. When I was on the job, I closed 9W Sloop Hill Road, uh, Sloop Hill, many times. <laughs> many times. Anyone else? Motion to close public forum. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilwoman Brennan? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasati? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Motion to adjourn. Move. Second. Councilwoman Brennan? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Biasati? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes.